Here we go. Hello, it's Nick Falget. I, uh, this thing has been sitting here for a while. Going, going it alone this time. Uh, we got a new Phyrexia pack in front of us. Um, and I think there's a pretty obvious pick here. But we'll go through it. Um, this card is like a smaller skin render, which only serves to illustrate how ridiculous skin render is if you ever get to cast this guy. Go ahead and highlight him, because I think he's the pick. There's also Remember the Fallen, which is like a splashable Morbid Plunder in most decks. There's a Tanadon. There's Pristine Talisman. Not really first pick material, but very annoying. Same with Vault Scourge. Um, Megasynth Wellspring. Maybe a first pick out of some weak packs. Um, but I think, ultimately, it kinda, oh, there's also a Guess Verdict, which is, you know, decent enough removal. It's instant speed. Uh, I think the first pick in this pack is between the Exarch and the Remember the Fallen. You could make an argument for the Tanadon too, but when in doubt, you want to take the two for one, I think, especially if it's splashable. Um, so yeah, we are going to take it. Here, we are looking at some interesting picks. There's Mind Culling, a card I haven't actually gotten to cast yet, but which I would love to cast, because um, it's a, such a beating if you get to. Um, there's also a really nice piece of black removal, and a pretty good black uncommon, and then a probably pretty good black common too. Um, for Rexy Mana Wise, we have Porcelain Legionnaire and Slash Panther, um, and there's another Wellspring, which is nice to know. Um, I think it boils down to Porcelain Legionnaire versus Mind Culling. Um, I think Mind Culling's more powerful... But I'm going to take the Legionnaire, just because it leaves me a little more open. If I hadn't, if I'd taken an artifact, I might be more tempted by Mind Culling, because um, it's more in the style of decks that I like to play. Um, I think it's a bigger beating overall. It's possible Grim Affliction is better, but this guy is just such, such a premium uh, dude that I'm always happy to, to get my Legionnaire on. And we do have, you know, some removal. This is going to go in whatever deck we play. So I don't feel terrible about it. Um, now I wish I'd taken that Grim Affliction. Because Whispering Spectre is awesome. If you watch my last draft, you know exactly why that is. Um, passing Grim Affliction kind of sucks. And we don't necessarily want to be Infect. Um, the other picks in this pack are the Tanadon. Um, the Gremlin Mine, maybe? Or the Alloy Mirror, who seems like he, you know, helps you in ways. I don't really want to take the Thopter. I don't really want to take the Thopter or the Tanadon here. Um, I think the best card in this pack is just Whispering Spectre. He is a black commitment. Um, that Grim Affliction followed by Praetor's Grass might mean we get cut from black. Um... I'm going to go ahead and take it. I don't think I'm going to miss, like, an alloy mirror too, too much. Okay, so maybe coming to haunt me a little bit. Um, there's nothing good in black or red in this pack. Um, this guy, not that interesting. This is probably not a, a good strategy um, outside of triple new Phyrexia because it doesn't trigger off itself. I think I'm just going to take Gremlin Mine out of this pack. This guy I saw being used. I could take the Agent, I suppose. Um, but I think I just want the Mine. It's removal. It's an artifact. Uh, it's the Mine or like the Probe, I think. Or maybe the Soul Eater. Um, but I think, I think this guy is pretty good removal. Um, better in Sealed, where everyone's going to be playing their artifact creatures. Um... Here is a pack. <laughs> it's definitely a pack. Um, this guy is nuts if you're in the Infect deck, so clearly nobody's drafting that deck. Um, this guy's still here. He'll go in any deck. We don't need to be so faithful to our Exarch. I think I'm going to take the Spinebiter. He is the most powerful card, and he can randomly win games if you have, like, Untamed Might. This guy's good. I haven't gotten to play with him since the pre-releases. I like this card a lot. Don't think this card's that good. Um, haven't passed a lot of green. Malira, you know, sucks to pass and then take a spine biter, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Um, another spine biter. Jeez, this is 
quite a pack. Okay, so there's Spinebiter number two. Um, there's another Gremlin Mine, well, aka Gremlin Mine number two. There's Whip Flare, which I think is pretty darn good. Although it hits a couple of our dudes right now. Do I want to pigeonhole myself into the double Spinebiter deck? There's another Tanadon. I think I'm going to take the Spinebiter. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got Whispering Spectre, Spinebiter, Spinebiter, so maybe we are actually just going to end up in some kind of weird infect deck. Here's an Ogre Menial, Postmortem Lunge, um, probably pretty good with Spinebiter, uh, pretty good with um, Whispering Spectre, Apostle's Blessing is good here, I think I want Mycosynth Wellspring though, or Blind Sell It. We're running, I guess this is our only off black or green. I'm going to take blind sell it here, actually. Another slight black preference signal. Um, this is something that get a really late one. Um, another Whispering Spectre ought not to be here. Um, there's a Razor Swine, too, which is pretty sweet. But we have two double black cards and two double green cards, if you want to run. I think this guy is pretty interesting. Um... I might take him if I already had like a mutagenic growth, but another Whispering Spectre. I'm not sure people are giving this its proper due. Here's our original pack. All right, and two, my two favorite cards in the whole set, Mind Crank and Psychic Surgery. Um, Viridian Betrayers or Vault Scourge. Despite the fact that I have the Betrayer, I have an Infect plan. I don't like this guy that much. I think... He's not that interesting. I'm going to take the Vault Scourge. I'll play it no matter what, I would think. And the Blind Zealot tabled to me. But so did a Wellspring, and so did a Blessing. He's got Intimidate. He's kind of just removal. I think I'm just going to take the Zealot. I mean, I really like Apostle's Blessing. Um, I do like the Wellspring, but... I mean, that's a, I mean, that's pretty late. I'm going to go ahead and take the Soul Eater here and hope to take a Patainted Strike and actually kill somebody in that fashion. This card is not that interesting. Um, this deck is shaping up strangely. I've got a couple... <laughs> the art on this is fantastic. I would love to have a blown-up proof of this art. I mean, just look at it. How does it even have a face? Um, I think it has flavor text. Maybe not. I thought it had flavor text. Scamp, Hover Mirror, Bladed Agent. Um, we're not likely to play blue, especially since we'd rather splash for the Exarch, but I guess if we open like a Corrupted Conscience, we will have an interesting decision to make. This guy, and there's a Red Infect dude to fill us out. I think people might be underestimating the Menial. He's a Fire Breathing Infect man with fuller toughness. Um, obviously not ideal on a deck that's only splashing red. So, we got a lot of three drops. Galvanoth is not the red rare you hope to open. It's a pretty weak pack, all told. Not an infect guy in sight. Um, we're sort of committed to black. We could cut both these spine biters pretty easily. We picked up a random blighted agent. Um, there's really nothing here that makes us want to commit any more to any colors. There's a Raker and a Geyser, but taking Serum Raker seems pretty bad when we have four double black cards. We might want to run these Spine Biters. I think I'm just going to take Sphere of the Suns. It'll help us splash. It's an artifact. Um, there's really just not much else in this pack that isn't a sort of blue utility card. And we almost, you know, we don't have any idea if we're actually going to run this guy. So, if we get a Corrupted Conscience now, we'll take it. There's a Viridian Corruptor, as well as a Blight Widow, which is a bummer. Always a bummer to see that. Look at how many double costs we're going to incur here. And a Morbid Plunder, but I don't think I want a passive Viridian Corruptor. But I don't know if I can splash these red cards as easily as I was hoping. Um, but I don't see a lot of removal right now. And we have this Gremlin Mine. Can I take a Blight Widow here? We have a lot of 3-drops. 
It can't be correct to take Blightwood over Corruptor in this spot, can it? We have a sphere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, ugh, ugh. I don't want to pass a Corruptor. That hurt me, though. There's a Flensermite, or we could take a Mirren Metal. Don't think we're pulling it. Well, maybe we're going to play all of you. Let's just hide all lands. We don't want to play you. Probably don't want to play you. I think um, this guy is a friend of mine, I guess. And yeah, look, I have friends. Um, I think I'm ugh, into the cores in this pack. Come on. Oh, I can't take it. I haven't even seen it yet, though. All right, a little Momir invite. I think I'm gonna take Flensermite. It's terrible. But we didn't actually see any red. I mean, here's a red card, but look at that. We just I... gross. I feel gross after taking that. <laughs> um, this is another pack I'm going to take a flint out of. I don't think I want mirrored metal. This deck is not going anywhere, which is a bummer. Um, yeah, we just want the two drop. Plenty of lifelinkers here. Septic rats, you suck, because God, look at all this. <laughs> um, I think I want the carapace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up to seven. Maybe we do want the Septic Rats or the Core Prowler. Can we pass both? Seems bad. Copper Carapace, we might get one later. Yeah, I think we just need the Dude, and I think we should just take Septic Rats. We already have... Our costs are already fucked to hell. We might as well just make it as bad as humanly possible. Um, I want Emissary here with my Splash and all my ridiculous costs. Um... Help Whale pick up some kind of sack outlet. I don't know what that could be. Calling this or... I don't even know. There's nothing else in the pack for us. This is kind of a late Sky Hunter. Um, not that interesting. Emissary is the way to go. I guess Scourge Servant here. It's not the worst. Not as good as Spine Biter. Um, so this deck, aside from its ridiculous mana problems, is looking pretty sweet. We got Double Spectre, Double Spine Biter. We could cut a zealot maybe. This guy's a two for one. This guy's a two for one. We got some early offense. Maybe let's get a bunch of plague stingers and none of it'll matter. Um get a dark steel axe instead of a copper carapace. We'll be fine. No carapace actually, the the toughness boost from carapace is not um irrelevant to be certain. Especially on a creature that already already only has one toughness. Because, as we all know, there's plenty in the set that deals with one toughness creatures. Um, so we're at 16 right now. Removal-wise, we are looking at... Oh, my. As much as I would like a Morbid Plunder, this is an awfully late Phyrexian Hydra. Um, maybe what that first Morbid Plunder will table. It seems unlikely. We'll just pick up some Corpse Curves, I think. I mean, our, our removal is a little spotty. We have a Gremlin Mine, a Splashed Tormentor Exarch, a Viridian Corruptor, and then a couple Blind Zealots who may or may not ever actually get through. But, I mean, we got a lot of creatures. This was our original pack. I don't remember there being anything in here that I actually wanted. I don't think I mind much of this. I'm just going to hack this guy. Because I'm going to be playing forests. Alright, so can I get like a hand of the Praetors or something? That'd be cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would still play a Tainted Strike, I think. Um, this was that pack with the Warwick Water. Just grab the White Infect guy. Nothing else is interesting. And I don't just want to randomly lose to a Tainted Strike. Given that my only blockers are Whispering Spectars. So, this draft went strangely. But I'm interested in it. You know, this guy could be interesting. 
That piston sledge would have been nice to put on a vault screw or something. Yeah, I'll take a, a natural predation. Seems pretty.